Hi, I'm Riley from Follette. Today what we're doing is we're receiving in and uncreating a Verizon uh, ice machine. First thing we're going to do is we're going to walk around the box to make sure there's no visible damage to either the pallet or the cardboard box that it comes in. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this packing slip out of this protective envelope and we're going to check it against our order to make sure that we ordered and received the correct piece of equipment. The tools that you're going to need for this are gloves to protect your hands, a razor knife, a low side refrigeration gauge, a ratchet, a 7 16th socket, and a 5 8 nut driver. The cardboard box is attached to the, to the pallet by staples. Uh, the quickest way to get the box off the pallet is going to be to go ahead and cut it with a razor knife. And you can remove the box. You can set that aside. On the side of the machine you'll see a data plate. You want to check that against the paperwork that you received on your packing slip. The next thing we want to do is, is walk around the unit and make sure that we don't have any damage that we didn't see originally. If we do, we want to call the phone number that is provided on the beginning of this video and ask for customer service. Next, we're going to remove the packing tape from both sides of the unit. In addition, there's also two styrofoam blocks that need to be removed. Next, we're going to remove the stainless steel cover from the unit and set it aside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure the refrigeration sight glass that the indicator on the inside is green. If it's yellow, you want to contact Fallout. Next, we're going to use our, our refrigeration gauge to make sure that our holding charge is still present. The pressure should read between 40 and 50 pounds, and that's going to ensure that your, your holding charge is still in your system. If it's not, then please contact Fallout. Now that we've determined that there's no damage and the holding charge is still present in the unit, we're going to remove it from the pallet. Use 7 16 socket and ratchet to remove the two packing bolts on the, on the front right and the back left of the unit. Now you're going to pull the ice machine out of the louver docking station and you're going to expose these two hand holds. With one person on each side, using the hand holds, pick the machine out of the louver docking station. There's two wood screws that, that hold the louver docking station to the pallet. We're going to remove those screws. Now we can remove the louver docking station from the pallet. 